Hello fellow hitchhikers. I'm going back to my roots a little bit today. Uh, I want to do a tutorial slash journey adventure um, learning some things with crypto. Uh, not everything I do is just for profits. In fact a lot of the decisions I've made has been more about learning how the different uh, parts of uh, cryptocurrency and the blockchain and all the different technologies and how they work and participating and being part of it. You may have seen from some of my other videos, you know that I, um, I'm i getting more and more connected to the Red Fox Labs uh, ecosystem and the things they have going. I've collected some cogs, I staked those cogs, I've been participating in the Uniswap pool and enjoying those monthly drops and they have just partnered up with Loopring. Um, you know, a lot of projects are looking for ways to uh, get away from all the gas that's happening on uh, ETH1. ETH2 is still, you know, a couple years away. And so this is a great partnership. Exciting to see this. So uh, Red Fox Labs has teamed up with Loopring and there are some rewards for providing liquidity to the liquidity pools. Now, I think when I read some of the fine print, it's actually just going to the top 25 providers and it's very unlikely I'll be able to provide that much. In fact, the amount that I'm providing probably will be difficult even just to uh, recover the gas fees. But there may be some airdrops or some other things that happened. And more importantly, I'm going to learn about Loopring, which I keep hearing about on different podcasts, keep hearing about the technology, but I haven't actually taken the plunge uh, to get into Loopring. So that's what this video is going to be about, uh, creating a Loopring account and uh, withdrawing some of the uh, ETH and RFOX from uh, Uniswap pool and figuring out how to get it all over and into a Loopring pool and, and seeing how that works out. So uh, from this tweet, there's a couple of articles kind of announcing the partnerships. I've done a little bit of watching on some videos and the main thing I have to take a look at here is this link here, exchange.loopring.io forward slash pool. And I selected from the choice, the RFOX ETH pool and I need to connect my wallet of course I have MetaMask uh, as an extension and so I will be able to link my MetaMask and this just simply is connecting my uh, wallet my MetaMask wallet to Loopring and I can confirm those some of those digits are the same and when I look in my MetaMask wallet I can see that I have some ETH and I also have some RFOX and this RFOX that I have in here is um, a little bit of leftover from when I bought some uh, 2ECT tokens in order to get the COGS uh, starter packs, but also there's two drops in here. It's about $50 a month I've been getting in USD value of RFOX uh, just for providing to the liquidity pool in Uniswap. So if I go over to the, Uni the Uniswap pool, uh, I can see I have $1,129 worth uh, in that pool, you have to main six, maintain $650 worth of a value into that pool. Now, both ETH and RFOX have gone up significantly since I started. Um, I've already done a withdrawal earlier in order to get those COGS tubes. And so I'm going to do about a $300 uh, value uh, in withdrawal. And that'll leave me, you know, 700 something. Maybe I'll do $350 in value and then uh, add in that remaining uh, RFOX that I already have out. So I'll go to the remove and then here it can let me know how much I'm going to remove in value. I'll just jump back to here for a second. I can see I have 1100. I want to keep say 700 in there. 700 out of 1100 is about 63 percent is what I'm wanting to keep. So maybe I'll keep 65 percent in there. So if I come over to here, I can maybe take 35% out. Okay, here we go. Approve. And sign. And now this is the part that will cost me some gas. So it's going to cost gas twice, both removing it from here and depositing. So $50 in gas, which is quite a bit. I will keep it at that. The original plan was just to let this all sit and accumulate and accumulate. Um, normally, I think from a financial perspective, I just spent $50 in order to get $500 out. That's like a 10%. I'm going to end up spending that again to put it in. 
but as I said earlier, this isn't about um, necessarily maximizing profits. It's also about learning and participating and being part of other things that are happening. So I am okay with that. Let's see the status on this. All right, there we go. Confirmed. So that should show up in my wallet any moment. I'm going to jump over to the Loop Ring Exchange and see how this looks. Okay, let's click this and see what happens. So asset, depositing assets. Oh, I see here. Okay, so I can choose the token. It shows me how much I have available. I can tap that. So RFOX, RFOX, I'll tap that. That's 9,600. Our Fox, so I'll deposit to activate layer two. So I'm going to have to pay a transaction fee, and I think um, this might just be in order to give them permission to have access to everything. It's going to be a lot of fees in order to do this, uh, but I'm learning, and this is the cost of learning. Cheaper than taking a course, I imagine, right? So. And it, it also gets my, uh, you know, the skin in the game, as they say. Um, okay, let's do this. It's not just theoretical. It's actual uh, real funds. Yeah, and then I also have to pay gas on this. All right, that was quick. And that's the one thing I'm understanding is once I'm in Loop Ring, I'll be able to, if I got more... Um, uh, Ethan here and if there's tokens that I was interested in I can trade them and there's no fee for trading and it's incredibly fast so once I'm in this layer 2 environment uh, I'm able to do a lot of transactions and then when I'm ready to pull out of this layer 2 I can bring back uh, I'm not really into the, all the trading and doing all those kind of things I like having some of these things on the side but I'm more interested in the blockchain gaming and NFTs that's where I'm really getting more and more interested in terms of the utility but I definitely like learning this too. Your account is being activated. It takes 18 confirmations. You can make deposits while waiting. All right, so I still need to deposit my ETH to match that. This is just an approximate, but 0 0.209 ETH. If I deposit that, maybe I'll make it 0.21. ETH and hopefully that's enough to match the RFOX that I have in there. So deposit. This will also cost a bunch of gas. I think I'm at 50, 70, it's going to be close to 100 bucks here. Yeah, I'm going to be over $100 in gas. Alrighty, well, while we're waiting for that to happen, I just want to take a quick look around inside Loop Ring. Uh, I can see that there is a swap option. Now, it's not going to have near as many um, tokens uh, available as you know Uniswap pools or you know QCoin or any of the exchanges. Um, I, I don't know the full list, so maybe you know I'll come in here. Most of the stuff I have, uh, I you know I put down sixty dollars worth of engine. Uh, tokens or Matic tokens or whatever three four months ago now they're worth like three four five hundred dollars but my plan is just a two year let them you know just sit there and grow two to five years unless something huge happens and then you know it's life changing then I'll withdraw it sooner but otherwise I'll just let them sit so uh, I won't be doing any day trading or any of that kind of stuff the pool I'm already taking a look at I'm hoping to set up um, I probably should get some loop ring tokens though themselves just as a bit of a speculation uh, trading yeah sort of a good trading interface oh I see so swaps probably sort of your over-the-counter and uh, in the trade you can actually take a little a look at the limit uh, what the different prices are and have a bit more control okay that makes sense oh here we go confirm confirm confirmed so everything is happened now on those transactions. Just waiting for some finalization within Loop Ring. Okay, unlock. That's my wallet address. Unlock. The first signature request is just used to unlock the wallet. Yeah, that's pretty standard for anything I'm interacting with. 
The second signature request is used to create the API key. Pay attention to the pending request in MetaMask. Sometimes MetaMask doesn't pop up dialogs for you, so you have to click on your browsers. Yeah, I've seen that. There'll be a little blue one, or yeah, you don't get the pop up, but this one's looking like it's working good. Okay, sign. All right, login successful. Is successful. Your layer two balance is not updated. Please check the status of the deposit. Okay. Alrighty, let's click add. And. Should be a max button around here somewhere. Okay, refreshing the page and waiting a little bit helped. Now I can actually see uh, I have some max buttons. Let's see if I go with the max RFOX. It has enough ETH in there, just a little tiny bit extra, but well, that's okay. And there's my RFOX. So let's click add. What does this say here? Share of pool. I'll have 0.12% of the pool. And prices and pool shares. Okay, let's hit add. There, just like that. Liquidity added successfully. I now am participating in the loop ring RFOX liquidity pool. It cost, uh, I didn't fully keep track, but I'm going to say 100 to $120. You know, 15% loss there. But I'm, I'm really confident that there will be some airdrops or there will be an increase in value in RFOX or just my learning and being part of this will, will pay off. It has worked out uh, for me in all the other things, so I would encourage people. Uh, the best way to, to, to learn and is to actually do it with small amounts that you can afford to lose and that way if you make a critical critical mistake you're not losing everything you're you're losing a smaller amount and right now that's the phase i'm in i'm not chasing any uh uh you know any big high risk things i'm uh, i'm chasing knowledge so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that little adventure with me Maybe you will also join the liquidity pool or not, or uh, would love some comments down below, uh, you know, of, of your experiences with Loopring, some, some suggestions or warnings. I will uh, see you in the next adventure.